Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience slash giving some tips on getting your first tattoo. So obviously I have one tattoo so I'm by no means an expert, but I know a video like this would have been really helpful um, for me because I didn't really know what to expect or how to go about it. So yeah, I kind of want to start talking about how to choose um, what to get, which I think is probably the biggest concern for most people. So basically you have two options, you can either get a flash or a custom. So a flash is basically an artist that has like a like readily made design, so with a usually with a set price, with a set size and things like that. So it could be good if you're really indecisive and you're not sure exactly what to get, but you just want to get something. It could be good to just get a flash. Um, you can also go to like flash days, which are pretty much just set days where studios will just tattoo people like non-stop throughout the day and usually you can get really good prices. On the other hand, a custom design is obviously going to be more personal, so it might have a deeper meaning to you, so if you're someone that you think like you'll get sick of a tattoo or you want it to have a really deep meaning then it's probably better to get a custom design. Secondly is placement. So again this is something that I was quite concerned about because I knew that I didn't want my tattoo to be like overly obvious and also a lot of people worry about is pain so th that can definitely vary on where you decide to get it. I guess a good rule of thumb which is like something that my artist told me is that if you think about where your body is like exposed to the sun, I guess your skin is the most strong, so it's gonna hurt less. Whereas parts of your body that are not exposed to the sun, that's gonna be more painful. Also, I thought about like the actual experience of getting tattooed. So even though I considered getting it like on my like side or my ribs or something like that, I just thought it would be really uncomfortable since I would be like taking my shirt off while I was getting tattooed and I didn't want to do that. So that is something to consider. Finally, the last and probably most important thing that you have to decide is your artist and who you actually want to tattoo you. There's a lot of ways to go about it, but I think the best is probably just Instagram. Um, most tattoo artists nowadays have an Instagram page and they'll post all of their work on there. So yeah, that's probably the best way to contact people. You can just DM or you can email. And yeah, in terms of how to actually go about it, um, what I did was basically I just messaged them saying, telling them what I wanted and kind of asking for a quote and they basically told me it would be about $150 and then yeah, I basically just booked it um, and I paid my deposit which was $50 and that was basically that. And because unfortunately we did have like lockdowns in Auckland, my tattoo was delayed so I ended up getting it about like a few weeks later than I had originally planned but honestly I was kind of happy because I was really nervous <laughs> and I was kind of scared. Um, but yeah, on the actual day, my tattoo was in the afternoon because I had, I had uni in the morning and I kind of just booked it after because like I don't want to have to go all the way to the city um, just to get a tattoo. So the actual tattoo probably took about an hour. So I got something really, really simple and minimal. So obviously if you're getting anything like shaded or anything more complicated, it's probably going to take longer than that. I arrived there about 10 minutes early. Um, and so yeah, I went up the stairs and it was just like this random little building <laughs> in, the, in like an alleyway. I went up the stairs and yeah, went in and the guy was there, like he was already waiting for me. So we basically just got started even though I showed up like 10 minutes early. So definitely think it's a good idea to show up early rather than late. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I got there, basically he asked me what I want to get. I showed him a picture on my phone and then he basically just asked me to airdrop it, which like I had never done before. but. It was pretty easy, so yeah, I just airdropped it onto, like, he had this iPad, I think, and then he used some app, and then, he, like, he just turned it into a stencil, printed it out into, like, various sizes, and then asked me which size I want. So, yeah, the, I was able to choose the exact size of my tattoo, and that whole process probably took about 25 minutes, just, like, getting the stencil, getting the tattoo, um, and then getting the placement right, like, he made me, like, stand in front of a mirror and like do it like multiple times because we wanted to get it like perfectly straight. After that it was time for the actual tattoo and I remember um, as when I saw the needle that he used, it wasn't even a needle, I think it was just like this super small like electric buzzer thing. It looked like um, one of those electric shavers. So it was a lot less like intimidating than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so yeah, the actual tattoo probably took about 10-15 minutes, probably not even that, because like I said, mine was super simple. I'll probably, I'll insert a photo of the stencil, I think. Um, but yeah, it was really simple and I think I was expecting it to hurt a lot more than it actually did, 
but um, it kind of just was just like you were just getting like pinched constantly but yeah it really didn't hurt that bad and I think because I was super tired that day like I kind of was just like falling asleep I remember I did see like a tiny bit of blood but yeah I was also like kind of ex expecting the worst so it really wasn't that bad after my tattoo basically he just alcohol or I don't know whatever and then he like put a piece of um, plastic on it and then yeah like he like took some photos for his Instagram even though he didn't even end up posting it but anyways I mean yeah that was pretty much that um, so overall the whole process took about an hour so after I got my tattoo um, when I was going to pay <laughs> I realized that they only took cash and since I didn't have any cash on me I had to like run down to the nearest ATM and then come back um, so yeah, my tattoo ended up costing $160, which I thought was fair, like it's kind of what I, around what I was expecting. So yeah, again, that's like a shop minimum, so if you're getting like like anything, expect to pay at least like $150. Um, oh, I guess it depends on where you live, like in Auckland, that's I think a pretty normal price, like $100 to $150. So yeah, afterwards, I got my tattoo and I had to buy like um, basically like a cream to help heal it. And originally they did have a cream at the studio but then they had sold out so I just went to like the nearest pharmacy and I bought this which the tattoo artist um, recommended me. Um, so yeah it's called Bepanthin which has worked pretty well for me so I would recommend it. Um, and yeah so I had to put that cream on like 10 times a day <laughs> for basically 3 weeks. And then it was also 2 weeks that I couldn't swim or you know take baths and stuff like that. I remember the day of my tattoo I was super tired um and after I kind of felt a little bit sick as well I think it's quite normal like a lot of people feel like that because you do have to remember that it is like a needle going into your body and your body is kind of gonna be in shock because obviously it's not expecting it so yeah I would say try and chill out for a couple of days after your tattoo and don't get your tattoo before like a, a huge event or anything like that just so you have time to like heal and recover finally um some tips bring cash with you like most studios will take only take cash or they'll prefer cash so yeah or just ask your tattoo artist of their like preferred payment method um before you go um also um don't drink alcohol because it does like thin your blood like even the day before try and avoid alcohol um but on the day of your tattoo definitely like drink a lot of water stay hydrated and eat like eat a decent meal as well a couple hours beforehand um, yeah, wear loose clothing as well because you don't want it to be like super tight and you don't want, um, you know, it's just you don't want like super tight clothing, it's going to be like hard to take on and off. And also, um, if you're getting it like anywhere near your foot or like ankles or whatever, like I did, wear comfortable shoes because you will have to like, take them off and you know, you don't want to be like spending five minutes just like untying all your shoelaces. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. If you have any questions or any comments, if you're like a professional tattooed artist and something I said was completely wrong, then definitely let me know in the comments. And hopefully you guys found this video interesting and informative and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.